Hello YouTube Pipers. I thought I would try something different today. So I set up outside. I have the old oak tree in the backyard behind me. And back over in that direction, behind all those trees is the municipal golf course. So I'm going to try and put together a pipe here. The wind doesn't take it all away. Personally, I think Carter Hall smells really nice. I hope everyone is doing okay. I hope you can hear me all right. I felt like I needed to do something different. Sitting in there in front of the bookcase. Kind of gets boring, I would imagine. Doesn't for me, because because I love books, but one never knows. Okay, I'm using the corn cob today, packed with Carter Hall. On the outside. I can spit the back and it goes natural. I had a truck pull up in the driveway. I thought maybe I would have something to show you because I've ordered something from Smoking Pipes as I told you another video after I got my check. But it wasn't. It was somebody backing up. So anyhow, here I am. I'm not sure which video this is for the Codger Challenge. Five maybe? Six? Well beyond what I had ever expected to make. At any rate, as I said before in the last one, that I don't really know a whole lot about tobacco and pipes. If you hear that in the background, that's the golfers on the 15th green. As I've been saying for a while now, they just let anybody golf because back in the day, golfers were a little more sedate, a little more quiet. Some of the language that comes across is unbelievable from the days when I was a kid. But what can you do? Times are different. Hunter is inside. I would love for her, him. I keep calling him a her because all the dogs that I've had in the past were hers. Anyway, Hunter is inside, asleep as usual. I've left the doors open so he can get used to some of the noises out here, birds and wind and such. He's a little afraid of those, huh? sad to say. Yesterday I was going to do this, but the wind was blowing so hard I figured it would take all my tobacco away. But here I am. I'm outside. Sun shining. Breeze is very calm. Birds are singing. It's just a nice day. And I read somewhere it was going to rain tomorrow, so I figured if I was going to do it in the sunshine, I better try it today. Anyway, this is my first try 
I don't know if the I don't know if the um, microphone will pick me up too good, but I'll find out once I play it back. Anyway, caught a hole. Don't know what I like about it, but I do. I think, like I said before, it's the aftertaste in the mouth that I like more than anything else. <coughs> One thing I forgot to bring out was something to sip on. That blasted. I thought I had everything down, but I don't. Anyway, sky's blue, leaves are green, the moss is gray and hanging and swaying, and the trunk in the background is a dark brown. Picture you could paint. If you listen hard, you might be able to hear some red-winged blackbirds over in the Mars. I don't know if I don't know if you can pick that up. If you can't pick my voice up, you may not be able to pick that up. So, who knows? This is the house that I grew up in as a boy coming along. I had a friend, Richard, we used to be good friends in grammar school, and he would come over and we would get together a big container of Kool-Aid and a bag of ice, some plastic cups or paper cups back in those days. <clears throat> put it in an old wash tub and carry it over to the 15th green. We'd have to cross over this creek, which is right here between me and the marsh. We'd cross over that at low tide, go up and sit over near the green and as the players would come up and try and sink their golf balls, we would be opening up the bag of ice and getting the cups ready. And as they all finished up, we would ask them if they wanted a cool drink on this hot day, because it was usually in the summer that we did that since school was out and it's notoriously hot down here in the South. And invariably they would say yes, how much? And we'd say a dime. And we'd pour them all a cup of Kool-Aid with ice if they asked for ice or without because we would have ice in the pitcher itself. <clears throat> and they would walk off drinking their Kool-Aid and we would sit there and count our dimes. One time they fellows came up to the green and they were putting away and we forgot where we were and we started talking loud and laughing and we learned some new words that particular day and we're told to keep it quiet because they needed quiet so we hushed and whenever they were finished, we said, would you like some Kool-Aid? And they said, hell no, and walked off. <laughs> we spoiled one of the guys putt, and he missed it, and he should have gotten it. That was one of the times we used to go over. Normally, we kept quiet. I don't know why we were laughing and goofing off that time, but <clears throat> we did that a lot. Sold a lot of a lot of Kool-Aid and collected a lot of dimes. I bought a chess set with my dimes one year and learned how to play chess. Of course, I haven't played in years now, but 
that chess set meant a lot because that was the first thing I ever bought that I had earned with money I'd earned myself. I don't know where that's coming from. Probably the road across in front of the neighbor's house behind it. Well, I figured this would be a short one because I didn't really have anything to say. Just wanted to make a video and put it up to let you know I was still in this challenge and I plan to be in the challenge. I may not, I may not put up so many videos because I don't really have that much to talk about. I can't think of much to say. I don't know enough about tobacco and pipes to talk about that all the time. <clears throat> I thought that that truck that was backing in the driveway had my latest aura from smoking pipes and I was going to open it up in front of you. I figured that would be something good. But I was wrong. And I had just bragged on smoking pipes about how normally when I made an order I got it within three days. Well. Today is that third day because I ordered it on the first, but whenever I check in the computer to see how far along it's come, it still says that the label has been printed, but they're still waiting on the package. So I don't know what happened this time. Somebody must have fallen asleep at the wheel or something. But anyway. I don't know if I'll, I might open that up next time instead of opening it up on my own just to show you what I bought. But for now, oh, I think it, talking about growing up in the South, which I wasn't really, but kind of. There's a book that I've read that I always recommend to people if they want something to read. It's about a boy growing up in the South in the 1960s. And it's called Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. And it's, it just reminded me of those days back there riding bicycles around. And it's just a magic story. The one that I always recommend when somebody asks me, what do I recommend to read? So in case you're interested, in case you want something to read, in case you like the South and wonder about the 60s, check it out. All right, folks, I think I'm about ready to hang it up here. So I wish you all the best and say God bless until the next time.